And we are live. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, happy time zones, wherever you might be. I'm Emma, and welcome back to the House of Hubris at Twitch.tv slash Saracent, where I just forgot the name of this stream that I've been doing for over three years now. It's on all the logos and everything, and yet, apparently that's how on the ball I am today. Look forward to that. But yes, welcome back to... That has viewers on Twitch.tv slash Sarasand. Welcome back to where Daniel hasn't put the sign up. Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Uh. Yeah. Hi. Uh, if you were here last time, you'll have seen us finally go into Blackwater, where everyone is cyborgs and it sucks. And we found that demon fight that we were banging our head against without making much progress before, and then we banged our head against it and eventually made some progress after like three quarters of an hour. This dungeon is a lot, and is the first one where we're actually kind of having to deploy proper tactics? And yeah, so this is interesting. Let's get back into it. So yes, everyone is mind control zombies. Mind-controlled mind cyborg zombies. Uh, the level of industry industrialization here is so far above everything we've seen everywhere else. Like everywhere else, medieval fantasy. Here, server rooms. Look. Look at these computers from like the 80s. Yes, so we just... Oh, thank you very... Put the sign away, Daniel. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, gifts of charity lady. And congratulations, Onion Cabagon. So, yes, here we are. This is us. Uh, we just, we got one of the mind control circlets and we've modified it. Okay, yeah, greater restoration will remove death's door. Thank you. Um, we modified it to turn into a psionic protection helm, which I couldn't find last time. I kept looking after the stream. It turns out... I would give, but I'm poor. Honestly, the, it's it's the thought that counts, and I very much welcome anyone uh, who's here, whether they're contributing monetarily or not, just being here is enough. Uh, yeah, found out that the helm is actually just a key item. You don't have to actually wear it. And I wear it. I'm better off without it. Apparently, she's better off without it. Uh, so... Presumably now I can go back and open the psionic locked doors. Now I need to find the... Okay, it wasn't there. Or there. I think we've come across two of them at this point. Need to find out where the hell they were. Ah, that was one. Yeah, everything here has enormous AC, uh, but also lightning vulnerabilities and bad will saves and touch AC. So it's all about uh, touch attacks and invisibility and like will affecting stuff, things like that. Yay, we unlocked the evil door and we found an unidentified helmet, a triple fin helmet. When one fin won't, isn't enough and two is too few. This helmet gives its wearer an additional gore attack that does d8 cold iron damage and plus two enhancement bonus. Clyde has a helmet slot. Like, it doesn't make a huge amount of sense that he has a helmet slot, but it's there, so let's use it. This room with a collapsed floor was abandoned rather than repaired. Because, you know, it's 2024. Who has the time? Is that the other one? No. Where was it? I don't... Where have I... Ah, where have I ended up? No. No. There was another one. Wear down. Um, where was it? 
this is the room where we pulled the chief that we thought would be like the end of this dungeon and turns out to very much be, not be that. We went into a second one. Where was the other psionic door? Why am I affecting this accent? Why do I ever affect accents? Uh, that was the worker cells. See, also here we're running into Emma can't remember spaces. This is a thing we just looked at. I mean, I think we've all been there, Hayden Taylor. Been through every door off here. Yeah. Aha! Right, so we're going into this space. And I mean, there in general. We've not all specifically been at your aunt's house. That would be weird. Oh, I knew that was going to happen on one of these. What are you? Augmented Incubus, level 16. Oof. Eight levels of assassin. That's... I'm going to go with too many. Old Brig, jump on him. Well jumped. Thank you, Old Brig. Oh, there, but there's another one of these. Oh, God. These things. Uh... Can you reach him for a shock and grasp? You sure can. Shock and grasp is a good thing, what the aforementioned bits of touch AC and uh, lightning vulnerability, but also not being able to overcome spell resistance is sadly a recurring theme. Oh my god, that actually hit. Legend. Who have we got now? Uh, oh, there's Darren. Um, what does Darren want? Uh, just advance a bit, I guess. Oh, and there's also... Oh, there's also a succubus here. This room is longer than it looked. Great. Well, why don't you just... See if you can take out the succubus. No, you can just miss a lot. Succubus will drop mirror image. Ugh. Cannot hide in shadows. Literally wasn't trying to. Stop doing that. I thought we'd rested recently, so I should have my spell slots back. I was apparently wrong. Uh, Fire Snake ignores friendlies, so... Sure? Or... What's my period touch? Where's... Oh, Racking Rate might work. Yeah! Strength and Dex damage. Love that for me. Bismuth, just, just try this guy. Haha, you are so distracted right now. Distracted enslaving this Triceratops' soul. And then beating the tar out of it. I've used up all my casts of Shock and Grasp as well. Great. Uh, why don't you haste us all to make us better at hitting people? And then, I should probably give, give him one of the Quicken rods. That would have made sense. You won't survive me. You nice, nice. Actual hits. Love that for us. Darren, what are you to do? If you just pray... Buff us up. Incubus down. We still can't hide in the shadows. Succubus honestly doesn't do too much damage and I don't care. You want to give people negative levels? This is how you give people negative levels. See? Negative level right there. Uh, she has empower and reach rods up. No. Bismuth just... 
Turn off power attack. This is the other thing I've been learning is actually turn off the things that make it harder to hit. And you might hit more. Or you might still not, not be able to roll an 11. Please stop killing this. I mean, oh wait, you're killing Waldrif. Also stop doing that, perhaps. Uh, new Ryan dispel the Calvacus. Oh, right, love that for me. Plan, just just do some shoots, and at least perfect strike, so you have a slightly greater chance. Ugh. Oh yes, Darren now has, because he's wearing those braces we found, he now has access to like every lightning spell. Well, let's see if chain lightning works. Reflex save, and then the other one, spell resist. <laughs> you ever just hate everything? Although, at least Darren has the shadow belt on, so dropping that summoned a thing. What? Why? Why? Why does Darren have another turn? Darren just had a turn. Devin? I don't know. Call lightning storm. Well, that was a whole eleven damage. Honestly, it doesn't seem that worth it. <laughs> But it's more damage than missing them is dealing. Cast Vampiric Touch on no one. Uh, can you hit them both with a Fire Snake? Hard to tell. Yes. Yeah, finding out that Fire Snake uh, avoids friendlies was a big moment. Darren should probably be healing people. Waldrip is quite nearly dead. Nice nat 20. Good job, Bears. Do you mind if I call you Bears? But apparently I've decided that that's the thing I'm doing. I can't die now. Um, it's all your fault. Or drifts down, but not like down, down. Down, 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 or out. Make every strike count. Little, you know. Your performance is lacking. Bugsy Malone reference for your Thursday, apparently. It is Tuesday. A little Tuesday for your Thursday. Or possibly vice versa. Uh, Darren, if you could just cure crit on Marjo. Yeah, get my great team to Ernest. Come on. Yeah. It died, but it got its uh, stats back after, the, uh, after being dead. So, you know. Love that for it. Uh, what have I got a bunch of casts of that isn't also going to hit everyone? Uh, let Vamp charge her. How CS she likes it. Time's lost all meaning again, huh? I mean, you're assuming there it ever got it back. Today, on the 4000th of March 2020. Wednesday, the Blelf of Smarch. Well, Jeff, just drink a potion. Because Darren is apparently not healing. Because why would he do a thing like that? You've crossed the wrong mark. Well, one of those suddenly connected. I don't know why this demon has so much more luck uh, actually hitting for damage. Can the demon teach me its ways, please? I mean, asking a demon to teach you its ways has historically perhaps not ended well for people, but hey, we can but try. 
Those are not the highest armor classes in the world. You should be able to actually roll those dice. But hey, what do I know? I'm a bear. I'm not a bear. What do I know? My manager's a bear. Well, that was a series of rolls. You're very hard to hit, ma'am. Even for the people where it seems like you shouldn't be. Come on, we can do this. Aha! We can very eventually do this. We will one day have done this. Here. Be blessed as well. There we go. Thank you, Clyde. Ah, more blowtorch fuel. It still continues to amuse me that it's built as a flaming lockpick. And it's just like, you're just... Cutting the door. Walter, if you would open this box, please. This is my kind of work. And find a ma the eluding swing. That'd be good. Plus three ghost touch light mace on crit. Wield it gets greater invisibility. That it actually is pretty good. Walter can use it. What do we have going? Haste eradicated making him do more attacks is very nice, but plus three shock short sword that gets plus DR is also very good. Doesn't stack with haste, which I'm trying to have on as much as I can anyway. No, let's switch out the short sword. Oh, somebody else might be able to use that. Somebody with martial proficiencies, at least. Um, yeah. I must have somebody else who wants that. Leela, probably. I can't remember what she's using. Oh, yeah, that mace. Anyway. Somebody want to loot this demon? If indeed you can. As it seems to have fallen outside of navigable areas. Oh, it was only carrying a rapier anyway. Remember when we had somebody who used rapiers and then it turned out she was a serial killer? Fun times. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're going down this corridor now. Yes, because this takes us back to the medical lab where we made the Bionic helm and also euthanize someone. Should we rest? There's part of me that thinks maybe we should just leave, go back to Dresden and switch our party around a bit. Now let's let's rest in the horrifying medical lab. Just right on that grate. Get our spell slots back. Everything will be good. This is the same setup we had before, and it's fine. Corruption is getting quite high. Who's this talking? Oh, it's Finian. Hey, listen, if you're ever going to a party with well, little pretty girls, make sure to take me with you. I'm feeling a little start of affection. God, you don't usually get involved. If you can learn how to transform into something capable of pleasuring a woman, I'll take you along as a novelty. Yeah, you can turn into any kind of weapon. How broad is the definition then? We rested for 23 hours. That seems like a long time to spend in this creepy medical lab. But hey, who am I to judge? What am I kidding? I'll judge all I want. Still be less, still be less judgy than the narrator. Hello. Ooh. I have an arcane emitter to disable. Because that looks like it would be bad. Unless... The Helm of Psionic Protection gets me past this. Because it does look similar. Bismuth, you are officially a guinea triceratops.
you're fine. Sweet. Everyone, march on through the purple. <laughs> Love it when you solve a puzzle before you get to the puzzle. I'm going to pop a save before I go into this ominous room. I'm still getting over the existence of this dungeon, if I'm honest. It's just, I did not expect anywhere near this level of Final Fantasy. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Oh, we're just waiting for the doors to close before the camera does anything else. Oh, it's 100 face. The Mage's voice is quiet, matter of fact. You've de demonstrated superior ability. We are impressed. We greet you, candidate. Who are you? We are Hundred Fist, the mind engineer, the alloy of mortal and immortal. We oversee this community. You realize you've seen this face before, the cowl shrouded visage of the Kellid Vel, who told you about this place. The top of Hundred Face's skull has been removed like the others, but the crown he's wearing is much larger and more intricate. How strange. You're talking to us, but it's like you're not even here. I can't sense any good or evil in your words. Nothing, just noise like a ticking clock. Sometimes words are just words. Hey, I know you. What are the odds? True. Your arrival was planned in accordance with the schedule. Given that the original host's body possesses the most advanced functionality, we used it to convince you to come. We are satisfied with the fact that you arrived within the scheduled time limits, as did all the previous candidates. Calculations do not require adjustment. The original host's name does not matter, and neither does the history of his existence. We are not what he was. Non the most well as erat. Let's change around the persons of verbs. Uh we have long surpassed the limitations of mortal creatures' mind. Singular personality was split in order to achieve complexity of thought. Now we are a collective. We are hundred face. You turn yourself into a machine? True. The exhaustion and deterioration of living tissue reached critical levels. For the purposes of continuation of function, a number of measures were taken. The decision was considered acceptable. The procedure resulted in the duration of existence being extended by an undefined length of time, which will prove sufficient for the discovery of perfect solutions. Why did you bring me here? I mean, it's pro probably obvious, but let's get it explicit. The question requires a multi-part response. First, we have been testing our location's deterrence system. The deterrence system has been judged unsatisfactory. Just adjustment based on this observation is required. Love being a white hat for you. Second, we have been testing you. You have been deemed satisfactory. Candidate. You will be subjected to the modernization procedure. Third, we have been searching for a fitting specimen as a replacement to lead, to lead our field combat unit. The game just made you think, is the Borg Queen a machine lich? I, I mean, I hate to tell you, but yes. Your abilities have been deemed extraordinary. The modernization procedure will be modified in order to take the specimen's peculiar properties into account. We are satisfied to the highest degree and are experiencing a state of euphoria. We wish to inform you that you will serve as the leader of our army. Lots of people seem to tell me that. Do I? Is there something on my face that just says, ask me to lead your army? What are you even up to? We are conducting the project implementing its schedule, and gathering an army. While incrementally enhancing countermeasures, we are attracting increasingly more dangerous opponents to absorb their abilities through modernization and amalgamation. The next scheduled phase is to attract a high volume of non-mortal opponents, such as the demon armies of the world wound. Chances of victory are... <laughs> How did you convince the Sycorians to work for you? It doesn't seem like they did their whole deal. The manipulative approach was deemed optimal. Specimens were motivated by the promise of assistance. Mistrust was suppressed through the weakening of their identity's basic elements, such as hope, religious beliefs, or ethnic... Et no, not ethnic limitations. The 
That's a whole... No. Our plan was not based on racism. Ethical limitation. Insubordination was suppressed through internal purchase. My, my. A machine that can lie, scheme, and manipulate. Means the end of the aristocracy is upon us. Who needs counts and barons when this handy mechanism does it all for you? I have no comment. Silence confirms the lack of confidence. We are satisfied. Does it? Mostly it conf confirms the lack of me wanting to say words. How do you bend mortals to your will apart from the, you know, mind control brain surgery? You cannot comprehend the intricacies of our work. It is highly probable that you assume the key is the direct cerebral connection. That is an insignificant accomplishment within our project. Our true genius is embodied in the device you are observing at this moment. It collects external force, but then translates into generic signs, stored, transformed, and sent back as commands. The process is efficient. The mission circlet receives the command and compels the body to execute it. It spells all redundant and resistant elements from the specimen's mind. Our device is the pinnacle of scientific thought, a mechanism created by a mortal being, yet it surpasses its creator in every aspect. The beginning of a new era, a gateway to the future, it allows us to control our servants. We are holding them against the path forwards. Our soldiers have forgotten the meaning of fear, they erased it from their hearts and minds in their lives. The reclaimed space has been used to store knowledge of combat arts and mastery of Numerian weapons. They know no pain, and their bodies remain obedient to the cognition circle, no matter the wounds they sustain. Until their functionality is lost completely, they will execute the commands. Observe. Even physiological death failed to make many of them abandon their posts. Is this not the perfect army? Could you not be bowing before our genius and thanking us for revealing the truth? How did you get all this future technology? They were procured in the depths of Numeria. We executed a series of expeditions into Silver Mount where we discovered these and many other pieces. Killing noise, chambers of eternal life, artificial creatures, technology. Even hundred faces in passive voice tenses on upon after in the last word. These items were crafted from the sky map. They are not from Galarian. They were created under the light of other stars. Oh yeah, because technically I think Starfinder is canon in the same timeline, which is this bit in space. So neat that these are just canonically we got these from aliens. The technically in Numeria extracts such machines from the ground. They think they can understand their essence and claim them. False. The nations of Galarian are underdeveloped beyond measure compared to the creators of these items, and their failure is therefore assured. Only the device that we assembled is capable of fully grasping technology. Can I leave without you fighting me? False. Good to know. Will now begin the preparations for modernization. Well, guess we got a boss fight. Because the regular fights in here weren't hard enough. Okay, but we've got all our spell slots back. This is good. This is good. Uh, so, let's just survey the battleground. Because it looks like we might have things going on. You've got this force wall. Uh, but there are generators we can poke. Yeah, so I assume we have to hit those to take it down. Well, uh, you drop a prayer on everyone. Clyde, Bigtha has dismounted. Is this good? I'm not convinced it is. So I don't think you can really operate interact balls on your own. So do nothing. What the hell did Hundred Face just do? Your character was blinded. What was that? Thunburst. That's a level 8 evocation spell. Great. Thought you knew haste. You don't. 
We should probably look at your permanent mage armor and stone skin and heroism. Electricity and adamantine, take down your regen. Bunch of resistance to most things. Can't be drained or hit with ability score damage. Nothing saying you can't take negative levels. You can make elemental walls. Okay. What? Really wish that was, you could just go back on one of these. Alright. Yeah, force shield supported by some generator in the dungeon. Magic missiles and can uh, bypass it. Good to know. Unburst X2. Oh, so just time. Yeah, so these are these are the thick casts he has because he's a wizard. So, you know, we could in theory just run down his spell slots. Amber, major army yourself. You always forget to do this. And by you, I mean I always forget to do this. And then head over to the generator. Whoa! What triggers those? Would be good to know. Ah, land can teleport. That'll be handy for getting these generators down. Boop. 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 There we go. Very nice. Did... Did that work? Okay, it seems to now be glowing less. Would really have loved some more visual confirmation. But, I mean, it's the same glowy effect as this crystal has, so... Presume oh, hello. <laughs> Fancy meeting you. <laughs> well, Ulbrich, go and bother him. Uh, go, go, go and bother him? No, apparently we can't do that. Can we charge him? Also not that, apparently. It's unavailable. Don't you just hate it when the concept of running is unavailable? I mean, that's most of my life. Can you reach this? Yeah. Ah! And now we can see the cannon traps. Not sure why they need to be a hidden trap thing, but hey. Ulbrich can't pick locks. I, I know. I didn't ask him to. Waljif. Uh, can you get those with haste as well? Because it does have to be... Cast has to be centred on someone. Ugh. Well, in fact, wait. You could just move there and use yourself. Genius. Party, retig. And all that jazz. Bismuth says hi. Apparently we just can't interact with this demon, which is... Oh, we can physically interface with the demon. That's knowledge. Okay, the demon exists now, and we can do things with it. Annoyingly, Big Thur has to use her whole turn to saddle up. Uh, Darren, you have dispel casts, and you should be using them. Aha! Get wrecked! And it means we now have a demon. Please stop that! Oh, Darren, next turn you're doing more healing. Right, Amber, we've been over this. Don't try and get fancy, just Scorching Ray. And get a hit for an attack opportunity. Yes, that was all part of the plan. Hey, Lan. I mean, yeah, just continue to teleport spam. <laughs> if it works, it works. That set off the cannons for some reason. I'm not sure when these cannons set off. It's a thing. It happens sometimes. If we can hit this Marauder? No, because we're blind and didn't really think it through. At least go and shock and grasp it. And miss. Great. Bismuth, can you interact with this? Oh, you can. Lovely. Can you charge him? No. That's lovely. 
Well, regular attack. Or don't do that. Okay, Darren, you know what you're doing. Uh, Clyde, charge this loser. Can't charge this loser? Why can you not charge this loser? Is it because you're blind? Because, eh, when you think about it, that makes sense. Turns out wizards are weak to knife. Get Amber back up. Yes, she suffered a crippling wound. I know. I was there. And then quicken. Uh, try and chain lightning this guy. Or no, chain lightning hundred face. Nice, nice. Has that turned off his regen? I don't know if it ever if it signifies when the regen is turned off. Well, I guess we'll find out if he regenerates now. He didn't. Love it. Everybody, make your hurt sounds now. Uh, Amber, standing up is just going to get you attack opportunity. So don't. Ah, yes, Lan. Forgot you were here. Well, go back to your good old, uh, just shoot him a lot. <laughs> Turns out when you can just teleport. Uh, puzzles become a lot easier, and when you just hit wizards a lot, they die. If you, if you need a takeaway from today's stream, it's that if you're faced with a wizard, consider just hitting them a lot until they die. Stand by. Immediate extermination has been considered ineffective. The viability of our host has been compromised. The probability of death is estimated at 100%. The device must not cease its operation. We are ready to transfer the device's control codes to you. What? Self-perfection. We approach self-perfection by increasing the complexity of the structures we develop. The device is the most perfect and the most complex of the structures of our making. Continued operation will guarantee the successful completion of our function. Hundred Face starts speaking in Hallet, the language of Numaria, and his voice takes on an almost physical presence. His words are impressed upon your mind with such force you yeah, you'll ever be able to forget them. Upon completing his task, Hundred Face gives you an approving nod. The, control, the code that controls the device is now known to you. Use it. Its potential is limitless. It will run the necessary procedures on mortal candidates with no need for your input. You will be able to make use of the results. Scratch and hydrate. Good point. Ah. Celebrate the boss victory with some refreshing water. Why was that boss fight like the easiest fight of this entire dungeon? That's not generally how they're meant to work. Awaiting affirmative response. I'll respond affirmatively to you doing that. Wow, he dropped a crossbow. Amazing. So what's it saying? Decide the fate of the device. I really don't think we're going to use it, given how much of a thing Bigatha has about freedom and people not being controlled and carceral justice. The whole mind control army device seems like a bad idea. The device greets your approach with majestically cold indifference. Judging by the sounds it makes, it's continuing its frightening and monumental work even after its owner's death. Something something less than getting up from your computer from time to time to stretch your legs and not be too weak to give a good boss battle. Yeah. You know, really, that's what I should be saying whenever I'm doing the self-care thing on breaks, is if you don't take care of yourself, uh, how will you ever take down the adventurers who invade your lair? I mean, it just makes sense. Examine the device. 
The device makes all of 100 Faces' other creations look like pathetic tin handicrafts. I don't know, the server banks are still quite impressive. Its inner workings reveal an array of perfect geometric forms, and a large crystal covered in minuscule engravings hovers suspended at its very center. The wave of energy it emits envelops you. This crystal contains tremendous power, and it's the writing on the surface that directs that power. It feels as if the device itself is a living creature. One that's merely sleeping. A nap. Well, let's see if we can roll at least a six to find out how the de device works. Knowing things is our thing. Yeah. Recalling all you've ever read or heard about the Numerian arts of technomancy, you fully understand the sheer genius of Hunter Face. Did he even realize what he had created? That the function for which he was using the device, controlling enslaved warriors, was but a shred of its true potential? God, if we had Nenio here, she'd be losing her mind. Also, We ever read about Numeria? Right, so yeah. They have an alien spaceship kind of at the core of their lands, so. They're where the technology comes from. One might as well use a finely tuned astronomical instrument as a paperweight. I mean, if you need to keep some papers down. Yeah. The key, unique feature of the device is its ability to read and process the thoughts of sentient creatures. By absorbing them into the crystal that serves as its heart, it breaks complex thoughts and emotions down into basic, clear symbols readable by anyone. It, it perceives deeply personal feelings and casually assimilates any experience, no matter how unique it learns. And what it learns is everything. Hunter Face's army provided it with many thoughts and emotions, but the device hungers something more. Observing this magnificent monster is both breathtaking and terrifying. So, now that we've done that, like, would we be, if we chose to activate it, would we be able to use it for something else? I'm going to step away for a second, save, and find out. Because a knowing things machine sounds entirely in Victor's wheelhouse. Plus, I needed to do some more evil things. You utter the words, the meaning of which you fail to understand, but cannot straight from your memory. There's a shift in the way crystals glow, a change in the sounds the device makes. You feel a strange sense of cohesion. It becomes abundantly clear. The device has identified your mind, familiarized itself with it, and the device is now ready to obey your commands. Wherever you may be, you need only offer a single thought and your order will be executed. The device is ready to serve. All that's left to do to allow it to perform its bloody work is to send it naive and loyal mortals. So there wasn't anything else we could do with it. What's the point of having a thing that says, that, why are we only using this as a mind control device? There are so many things we could do with it if you're just going to then use it as a mind control device. There are so many other things that could be done with this. You can't do any of them, but you know, the theory is there. Well, turns out it doesn't belong in this world. The device refuses to die. You watch clouds of metallic dust erupt from its depths and gather around the parts you've damaged, restoring their original condition. There are low scraping noise coming from the core of the mechanism like a giant tossing and turning in its steel cradle, shaking off sleep. Now that you've attacked the device, it tries to awaken, become more complex in order to protect itself. Without wasting another moment, you fall upon all your power and deliver a single, unstoppable, deadly blow. It tears the massive crystal heart from the depths of the device. The mechanism thrashes around like a beast in agony until, at last, it goes still. All right. Is there loot? Because your man just dropped one whole non-magical crossbow. Can we use this plat- Is this a lift? That the demon came down. No, we can't go onto it. That was just the demon dispenser. Oh, but uh, that- code phrase that 100 face used is probably because there was a door that was like 
uh, you, that said we needed 100, 100 faces past code. Where in the hell was it? Is it around here? Ah, yes, it was this door which appears to be open now. Nailed it. <laughs> Wait, not just Darren, everybody. Darren, don't go off on your own. You're far too squishy and annoying. And also currently blind. Oh, permanently. Blind can, blindness can be removed by remove blindness spell. Thanks, game. <laughs> Never would have worked that one out. <laughs> At some point, I could probably go back and give those zombies that killed us in the... Ulbrich's place, uh, kicking. Ha! Ah, here is where the loot is. A very fancy Numerian greatsword. That's not it. That's not it. That's it. Plus three greatsword merged with Numerian technology. Uh, once per day, we would can activate one of five enhancements for a number of rounds equal to half their level. Fiber muscles, plus four to dex and strength and mobility. Whoa. Augmented heart, plus six. Constitution and fortification, 25. Jesus. Four shield, uh, plus four shield bonus to AC. Stainless skin, plus four AC and plus four AC against touch attacks. That just sounds better than four shield. Upgraded neural system, plus four intelligence. Uh, and DC of saving throws against spells they use is increased by two. Wow. That's, that's got a lot going for it. Also, these braces are of the Numerian technology, you cannot equip them. Ever? Also, big thing, you could just it up. I've, I've got to know. I've got to know. As ever, I am not above looking up a guide, especially when a dungeon has given me quite this much trouble. Blasting... No, not blasting kidney stones, Google. That is not a thing I want to know. You can't. Sure. All right. There's to be a lot of weird kind of hangovers from development in this dungeon. Um, is that everything? I feel like that's everything. I still have more flaming lock quick fuel. I still have a bomb, but. Might have got him. Oh, is that a door? That looks like a door. That is a door. Hello, door. Me. No, that joke was bad, Emma. I mean, that never normally stops me. Lockpick. Blowtorch. Really wish doors were more clearly marked on the map. <laughs> Poke the computer. Red lights flash ominously, and the strange mechanism begins to emit a low hum. After running an eye over their front panel, you notice three half-faded pictographs. The first looks like a symbol for fire, the second might be a symbol for wind, and the third reminds you of the imprint of a hand. Well, let's see if we can roll at least a one. After a great deal of effort, you determine that the device is supposed to send signals to a person in a neighboring room. It seems that's where they conducted the exper experiments involving dangerous substances. The hand symbol must have been a signal for a worker to bring a dangerous item into a room, or remove one. The wind symbol presumably initiates the air filtration systems, and the symbol of fire must incinerate everything inside. Since you don't know exactly what kind of gas the room is filled with, trying to set it on fire yeah, would be unwise. The best course of action seems to be to get rid of the source of contamination first, then pump out any potentially dangerous air, and only then cleanse everything with fire. But what if there's stuff in there we want? Hey, let's do the thing. Uh, so hand to remove the contamination. Good 
good that we can suddenly see. The device seems to wink at you with one of its red lights. It begins to emit a low, soothing hum. Air filters. I mean, do we have to let fu uh, burn everything? That seems excessive. Leave. I'm going to pop a save just in case we did need to burn everything. Uh, somebody pick this lock. By which I mean, Wardrift, pick this lock. This is my kind of work. Hurrah, we made it. We did not, in fact, need to purge it with fire. The fragments of the smashed glass dome appear to have melted as if the glass was eaten away by the gas that was previously held inside it. The glass dome is the fragile barrier that separates you from the deadly gas. Only a madman could have created a weapon so misguided and so lethal. This game has opinions about chemical warfare, and you know what? That's fair. You might even describe it as chemical warfare? Or you might not, you know. Up to you. What do we have here? An Urgrosh. That's an exotic weapon. And a trap. Certainty of death. Only plus four Urgrosh. Cool. Never going to use it because it's an exotic weapon. How many people are we going to come across who know how to use an Urgrosh? Okay, now I think Blackwater is actually done. Any conspicuous spaces? Yes, there are, aren't there? Is there another door along this wall? Looks like a wall that would have a door in it. No? It does not look like it has a door in it. This is a very conspicuous space. No, no doors, no, no doors, no dice. But over here... Also no door. Turns out the conspicuous space is just a uh, space. Unless there was a way in over here. Wait, was this where the demons went through a wall and joined the fight that one time? And it was really annoying. I think it was. Okay, I think we're probably done. That wasn't something. No, this is just one of the conveyor belt rooms. Yeah, let's leave Blackwater. Okay, we actually that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Let's go back to Dresden and bed. And we'll tell Nenio about all the cool stuff that she absolutely would have wanted to see. And possibly give Sociel a computer sword. We out. Any loot we missed. Nothing good. Wait, just double checking. Yes, this is listed as complete. Hurrah. In the first hour and everything. And now we can just teleport to Dresden because we are in no sp no condition to have random encounters. Also, yeah, the Crusade will have been doing things, because we were away for quite a while. Okay, we can augment the Hide and Tusks. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff. Ah. Uh, okay, enchanting the Hide and Tusks. Clarets can sense the traces of Chilroar's former might in its reins. Former might what? They can awaken one of the aspects of its power by offering a prayer over the relic. They can awaken its icy blood, but the cold bite, plus two, well, plus two, plus two. By spike to light shield. Uh, cold spells do more damage that I can't think who that would be for. Shamans, maybe. Or Chilroar's voice, bellowing owl, plus two, plus two. Resistance to Sonic, uh, saving throws against sound based effects. If somebody attacks you with Sonic, uh, it, and you make a reflex save, it does an explosion. Both of these seem not great, or at least very specific. Like, very specific. I'll take that one. The terrible growl of Chill Roar could knock down a galloping horseman and blow away a hut. 
just one. The priests awakened the tumultuous spirit of the ancient Gao Rao, giving magical properties to its remains. Right. And if you heard that noise, I don't know what it was either. I think somebody might be taking the bins out. Uh, you know what, actually, before we get going, uh, but, yeah, get going with being back in the world after Blackwater, let's take a short break, because I need to do a capitalism and also those self-care things, because again, if you don't, how will you ever be ready for the heroes? So, yeah, you should do them too. I'm going to get up and move around and get some more water. You all should get up, move around, have a drink, have a snack. Take your meds if you need to. This is your reminder. And, you know, work on your self-perfection. Or don't. I'm not a cop. Uh, yeah, and we'll get back to doing more crusade things and figuring out where we go next uh, in a few minutes. Love you all. See you in a few. And we're back. Hello, everyone. What other events have we got going? Followed Crusaders. A Chalaxian lord with an escort of battle slaves wishes to join the Crusades, but many Crusaders loathe slavery, along with their commander. They're asking the commander to free the thralls and banish the Outlander. We don't have an Azata thing we could have done. Yeah, so Chaliax is... Nation of Diabolists and Tyrants. <laughs> Great. So we can buy them. Cost us 2,000 finance points. Crusade morale increases. Accept them. Uh, which is lawful and we get battle slaves. Which I absolutely do not want to do. Free them by force. Lose 1,000 diplomacy XP. Crusade morale increases. Uh, and is chaos. Break chains. The slaver was shamed and banished. And his slaves were given freedom. The soldiers have marred the commander's decision, but relations with Cheliax have soured. Yeah, but screw those guys. <laughs> Frankly. Also, look, we've got so many diplomacy points. It's it's our highest stat. Fear of the surface. A group of mongrels has arrived in Dresden. The hunters may have been brave in their underground caves, but they've lost their nerve on the surface. They're scared of sunlight, get disoriented by open spaces, and feel perturbed by unfamiliar opponents. Lan asked the commander to be understanding regarding his comrade's anxiety and not throw them straight into the thick of things. I mean, you've come to the right person to be understanding of their anxiety. So we can position them in the rear to get more mongrel sharpshooters, which have been pretty solid. Or train them how to fight to get more mongrel fighters, which are okay. Commander's decision raised the mongrel spirits. Once they learned that they would not have to charge into battle in the front ranks, the underground crusaders began to accustom themselves to their unfamiliar surroundings. Yeah. What decrees do we have going? Oh, we don't have any in progress because we've been in this dungeon so long. <laughs> Our morale is still at max, though, because, you know, we rule. <laughs> so we've got... Uh... Okay, those are both to improve morale. Don't need to do those. Can't afford either of those yet. Uh, we don't have anything else that needs our leadership XP. Just make some more beer elementals. How is it? How many energy points do we have going? Only 102. I'm not going to spend all, almost all of them on just getting some beer elementals out. Okay, so it would just be one of our diplomacy ones. So we have Enchanting the Phylactery, uh, Deciding what to do with the Attractive Impulse, Deciding what to do with the Voracious Jumble, Ransom from the Mountain Kings. What was that? 12 Shield Bearers and 1,500 Finance Points. Yes, because we found their golems and we were like, cool, now can we charge them rent? Or we Enchant the Phylactery? What could go wrong? See, if we'd made the beer elementals, we wouldn't have been able to afford that. Enter the Dresden. Uh, let's start off with the Citadel. There'll probably be some people who want to 
turn up and have a meeting because we've been away for so long. I think we've maxed out diplomacy because, like, the gauge was full, but we couldn't. We didn't have, like, a rank up decree. Oh, hey, people who want to talk to us. Turta. Commander. The woman entering the room is horribly wounded. Her simple clothes are soaked with blood. Her face has been beaten to a pulp, and one arm is twisted at an unnatural angle, and I am, in a very real sense, still blind. <laughs> she walks towards you, but her legs give out. She falls to the floor. Commander, it's Ember. Ember's been taken. Okay, let's help you first. Who are you? Thanks, Randomer. For giving her this healing potion. Goodbye again, Randomer. One of the soldiers help okay. Helps your guest up and hands her a healing potion. The woman drinks it and sighs with relief. She still looks terrible, but at least her wounds are no longer bleeding and she's standing on her own two feet. Thank you, Commander. But don't waste time on me. I don't deserve your kindness. You must save Ember. What's up with my child? Baphomet Cultus came to her sermon. Slaughtered everyone and took her off to their unholy shrine to sacrifice her. I can tell you where it is. I'm begging you hurry before they do something to her. Who are you? My name's Tetra. I'm a bricklet. No, that's not what I meant to say. I'm a pathetic sinner not worthy of your attention. That little saint changed my life, saved my soul, and I let those scumbags take her. Hmm, yes, that's an interesting perception point. I'll be there in a second. Who did this to you? Baphomet cultists. They came to the sermon. They were armed. We couldn't do anything to stop them. I woke up surrounded by dead bodies. The coats must have thought I was dead too. I ran straight here, but it's already been a few hours. The villains must be halfway to the shrine by now. Baphomet cultists? In my dressing? They're everywhere, Commander. It's more likely than you'd think. The army, the bureaucracy, ordinary people. They have spies high and low and they recruit those weak in spirit. Some of them get caught, but they're like mould. If you miss just one speck, it's not long before they spread everywhere again. Cool. Now, uh, how exactly do you know, like, exactly where these cultists are going? You're very perceptive, Commander. The woman lowers her head, stops for a moment, and then forces herself to continue, looking you straight in the eye. I didn't come here only to tell you about Ember's abduction, but also to surrender to the law. Arrest me for treason. I'm a cultist to Baphomet. It's my fault Ember was taken. Why? Why? What? Why? I regret what I did. That doesn't absolve me of my guilt, but at least I can do some good before I accept my punishment. Well, information please. Cult. I was recruited a few months back. I came to the city to work on a construction site. I was alone with no friends, no money. I met some nice people in the tavern. A bit beaten face twists into a grimace. We spent some good times together and they were always willing to help me in any way they could. They even let me borrow money and never asked for it back. I really thought I'd found friends. Ah, no, this is a cult. That's a difference. I mean, it is literally a cult. Then they started saying things about unfairness in the army, that Galfrey's a tyrant and you're an executioner, that fighting cultists is just slaughtering innocent people who see things a different way. I felt something was off, but they were my friends. Well... Didn't even take two months before I was kissing the youth of Baphomet's statue in his shrine and swearing an oath to his warlord, Thaskarod. You know how it is. Haven't we all been there swearing an oath to Thaskarod? Break Baphomet's profane altar, destroy his coat, and punish me in front of everyone as an example to the rest. No, now you're sounding far too into that and it's reminding me of someone I know. Knew. Had to kill her. Who's Thaskarod? A very powerful demon. I've only seen him once and I almost died of fear. He's huge and he breathes fire and devours human souls. He has an entire army of Templars in command. Cool. How did you end up at the Joan of Arc girl's sermon? At first I stayed away from her sermons, but the court leaders kept a close eye on her. People flocked to her. The courtists dreamed of poaching her congregation and maybe even luring her to their side too. When she started saying prayers for the demon lords, we thought it'd be easy to entice them to our side. But we underestimated her. Five spies, including me, infiltrated her congregation. And when the other cultists came for her, all five of us took up arms to protect her from them. Oh no, they got out-culted. Ember said prayers for the demon lords? You didn't know? 
Oh, she's a true saint. I'd know what else to call her. She was offering up prayers for all the demon lords, Baphomet, Discari, Nocticula, Cabriri, and asking that they come to their senses and end this war. Stop hurting people. She believes there's good in everyone, even in creatures who are evil incarnate. I don't know if anyone can make demons come to their senses, but she can do it with people. How can I keep hurting crusaders after I, along with the others, appeal to Baphomet's better nature? How would I ask him to repent and not repent myself? Okay. I'll humbly accept your decision, whatever it may be. I deeply don't care. Unlike, unlike all the people I actually do keep in prison, you've not said that you are immediately going to try and kill me, so... Be free. Thank you, Commander. You've been kinder to me than I deserve, but that's exactly what Ember teaches us to do. I'll do anything to keep others from falling into the cult's web. And you, please, save our little saint. He bows and leaves. And I can turn the vocal fry down. <laughs> leaves very casually. Okay, I mean, we don't need to go for a full rest, but I would like to uh, sort this whole... I mean, I guess we know what we're doing next, but first I would quite like to sort this whole everybody is blind issue. I don't care for it. Oh, I should have looked in on my armies, really. They've been waiting for orders for me for like three days while I bought the Borg. I didn't have levels to spend for anyone, no. But I did have a funky new gear. New gear. What does that mean, Emma? Great question. Did we already check this against what you've got going on? It's worse? It, it's... Yeah, it's worse. What was the other thing I said Sealer might want? Testing. Oh yes, this short sword. Also worse. Yeah, it's too busy being a finesse weapon. Yeah, nah, well Jeff is really the only one who can use it. And I think having an invisibility mace is just better. Well, guess we're selling that. Oh, we haven't given this to anyone. Yeah, that's just mathematically better than what you've got going on. Anybody else want a plus four decks? Plus four decks. Not particularly exciting, but it's here. What about the Amanda? You could wear a belt. Congratulations, dexterity and constitution. You are now even tougher to kill. And also, Sociel can't use a greatsword. He doesn't have martial proficiency, does he? He is our only two-handed fighter and he doesn't have martial proficiency. Unless we wanted to re kind of respec, well, respec-ish, uh, regil. This is worse? Yeah, this is worse. I'm going to keep this greatsword around just in case I come into contact with another, like, two-hand fighter at some point. I don't know. Might happen. Alright. That's a shame. Uh, maybe if I talk to Asinoe, she can help me with this whole blindness situation. <clears throat> I mean, the gods curing people of blindness is pretty much one of the oldest moves in the book, so. Just, hello, would you like to Jesus me? I'm in need of a good Jesusing. You may decide for yourself which particular piece of Jesus lore I'm alluding to here. You know that thing Jesus did? Do that. 
you know, the thing. So anyway... Oh yeah, is there any news about everybody whose souls got stolen? Because that was the thing that happened. And then I went and fought the Borg for a while. No, but believe me, I'm not going to leave this alone. It's a serious crime, one that happened right under my nose. I consider it a personal insult, and I'm willing to help Elan and everyone involved. Every day I spend some time trying to find the stolen souls with prayers and divine magic. The search has brought no results yet, but as soon as it does, I will let you know. I really need the help of Claret. Oh, but that's just your shop interface. Well, here, have all my trash. I have so much trash. To, like, a lot of weapons. Yeah, I don't need that. Uh, no. No. Yeah. I don't remember if I looked at whether Social wanted those. Uh, we don't need another one of those. We need another two of those. That's a trap. That trap. That doesn't. Oh, and it doesn't even sell for anything. Why does this exist? I uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That's not that good. Either all trash. Cool. Well, if I can have 143,000 gold, please. <laughs> and I will take some scrolls of remove blindness. Is it going to be just five of us? Our oh, business as well. Yeah, so we just have to leave Lan back here. Oh, actually, this is just a summon. Stop worrying, Emma. Was there anything exciting that you were holding on to for us? It's almost like you're not a weapon seller. Now... That's probably cool. It's like those braces uh, Darren's got, but it lets you do all the fire spells. That might actually be worth grabbing. Although, hmm, maybe. Actually, I don't think Amber has some of these because they're arcane. Well, I mean, she has arcane spells, but you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I think we're good. And, you know what, I'll just have all of your potions of serious wounds. There you go, there's the problem solved for the foreseeable <laughs> future. And I can't give Ember that ring on account of she's just been kidnapped, Emma. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check about, did Sociel want these braces? Sociel is not wearing braces. Problem solved. What was the problem? Braces. Uh, okay, I've got the scrolls. I'll just use them in the field. It's fine. Yes. Oh, but yeah, resting here would let us reduce corruption, wouldn't it? Which was getting quite high. Do we want to do that? Or can we just... Can we not do it at like an altar in here? I thought that was a thing. No. Maybe we do need to go and rest. Boo. Oh, that music sounded like it was about to turn into something like... Do, 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 do. I'm not thinking of Carol of the Bells, but now my brain's turning into Carol of the Bells. The organ line from Kianis Katsy. It's very similar. <laughs> like, prophecies, specifically. I've listened to that soundtrack perhaps too many times. 
that's a lie. It 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 rules. No such thing as too many. Let's just go, and then we can cure our blindness when we get there. Oh wait, no, I just said I should probably go to bed. I did say that, didn't I? We should do that. Yes, I know we need to go and rescue Amber from the cult. But on the other hand, bed. And, you know, people on this stream have told me to admit that sleep is good enough times that I now appreciate the fact that we have to go to bed first. Will we wake up less blind? Great question. And truly, there is but one way to find out. Well, I mean, we could also Google it. That is a thing we could do, but we won't. Instead, we will simply go to bed. Nanio, lead the cooking party. Actually, just there, sure. Nanio, lead the writing party. Make some more elemental assessor. It's a good spell. Are you sticking with fish on a sticking with fish? That didn't work as well as it did in my brain. Yeah, just letting you stay up for longer is honestly big. Cool. Begin resting for a day. You know what I like old Reggie? You know that all the talk about the crusades and good deeds and true friendship ain't worth nothing. You don't try to deceive anyone. You're a rock, Grandpa Reggie. Unshakable. You have my respect. Take your hands off my coin pouch and keep them where I can see them. How does it feel to get absolutely shut down, Wardriff? Oh. Okay. Claim. Knight Commander. The young knight Claim drops to one knee before you. He's notably matured since your previous meeting in the Blackwing Library where you saved him from being burned alive, and that was how I unlocked being a trickster. But his sharp gaze, aristocratic features, and soft voice, just as you remember. By order of Her Majesty Queen Galfrey, the Order of the Flaming Lance has come to be of service to you. The who now? Our order devotes itself to mystical research and the pursuit of secret knowledge. We spend just as much time on spells as we do on prayers and weapon drills. At the end of the day, our enemy is not of this world which means that to fight it, we need knowledge that is not of this world either. Ah, yeah. Imagine if somebody had found a computer that was not of this world that just gathered information. That would have been cool. Bet they wouldn't destroy it or anything like that. So you're ahead of the order? Claim not sadly. Alas, yes. A former leader, Sister Mir Mir. Uh, Sister Mir Mir. Disappeared from Canabra Slot. Not... I'm sorry, Commander, I'm having a moment. Not long before the demons attacked. She is considered missing, but almost everyone believes that she has perished. He holds out a leaflet to you, a portrait of a stern-looking half-elf woman printed on grey paper. Oh, is this the half-elf we were meant to find the identity of? This is Sister Mir Mir. If by chance you should find her alive, or... The nice voice falters. If you learn anything about her fate... Our order and I personally would be eternally grateful to you. It's not immediately apparent. You recognise the face in the picture. It's the mad woman that you saw by the petrified tree near Winter Sun. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I have seen this woman on a cliff next to a tree. It was a whole thing. Petrified tree. Of course, in Canabra, she was reading a history of the petrified library. He had the chick gone to the stone wires, but if one of those trees is here, oh, in Heritor, that means she's in grave danger. Commander, do you know the history of those trees? They were enchanted by druids from Old Sarkoris to guard knowledge hidden within them. Druids resorted to using an unholy rite to turn the trees to stone, and themselves into seer brays. Let's say it's pronounced, pronounced like that, even though it's Gallic. But it's probably more like Shabri. Undead, whose hatred for all living creatures almost equals their hatred for demons. I can't waste any time. I'm going to help Sister Mimir. Will you accompany me? Yeah, Braze. Let's... Sure. 
are extremely dangerous, but if she's still alive, we may have a chance to save her. Yeah, love it when your side quests sort themselves out. Also, not blind anymore! Woo! Hogs in chat for not being blind. That certainly was a sentence I just said. Let's move on. Uh, so, who do we want now? Lan, you did such good work in the whole uh, shooting a wizard until he died states that you can stay around. Wild Drift, you should probably stay around because we need somebody with trickery. Uh, Sociel, come in. Uh, Nanio, because Amber's gone. And... Regal? Sure. Ah, uh, yes, and because we ate fish on a stick, which is Regal's favourite thing. Uh, plus two bonus to damage and attack. Neat. Quests are progressing. One day we'll get to the end of Act 3, but not today. See, and we could uh, ignore both of those and go back to current clan to try and fight those zombies. But that said... Um, it is Karen Glenn but that was right yeah 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 I think um, but yeah no we need a break who we do not currently have so we've got uh, Sister Mimi down in Winter Sun or where is the Baphomet Shrine? Up here, past the core of the riddle. Which, I mean, we can teleport to Trees and Home. We cannot currently teleport to Trees and Home. I am building a teleportation cycle in Trees and Home, right? What? I just didn't tell them to yet. I'm an idiot. There's my problem. Teleportation circle, go. Also have a shrine. Get me some more energy points. Also a hall of glory to make mercenaries cheaper. Also a stables. Cool, we talk. Okay, we cannot teleport to Treason Home. We can teleport to Gloomy Gorge. It's the closest to the shrine. Or we just walk back to Winter Sun. We can teleport to Stone Mets. That might be a thing to do. Sure. To Winter Sun. Took us long enough to finish up there. Now we have more things to do. Oh, wait. We should do our armies, like I say. We, they've been waiting so long. There's some more Mongrel Sharpshooters for you back in Dresden. See? And also, there's a hole for convicts. Um, let's just put them in the same thing to save a new eye space. Oh, and there's here some church guards and clerics. Wow, this is turning into a whole thing. And we can't even fit them all in one. Well. So at some point, you can go back to get those sharpshooters. But what's this way? A fort you're probably not ready for. Petrified Traveller, you can procure some reagents here. That looks like... Potentially... Uh, it's, uh, it's level 9, actually. Yeah, that looks like a lot. Let's not poke that particular bear just yet. Okay, so there appears to be not a lot to do here. So what other roads can we be clearing up? This one? Oh, I think the other army is better placed for that at the minute. Not much better, but you know. Or you go back to Dresden to pick up those sharpshooters might be the thing to do. I suppose. 
Meanwhile, you were going somewhere. Ah, you were going to fight this demon army. That's fun. Let's do that. Demon army. I could have debuffed them. Demon. No, that doesn't really work at all. Uh, what have we got? Just 72 Glabrezus? Well, make there be less. Yep, that's now 23 Glabrezus. That is... That is less. Wolf charge. Archer shoot. Now even fewer Glabrezus. The Glabrezu the can teleport. That's exciting. Well, that just makes them more vulnerable to a roundabout horse fight. And now there are no Glabrezus at all. They killed a whole four people. Well, seven people. And they all came back. Get wrecked. Yes, Hydrate and Stretch. That was a thing I was about to acknowledge. The old mines where the dwarves would mine priceless crystals are now abandoned. I thought that said pointless crystals. I thought a bit harsh narrator. The group of demons that had made it its lair there tried to defend their territory from the crusaders, but to no effect. Get wrecked. Okay, you can go and fight them later. By which I mean, like, tomorrow. But we are going to winter sun. We'll get there 11 minutes before tomorrow begins. <laughs> It's the middle of the night. Let's go save a woman from a tree. When I say it like that, it just sounds like she's in the tree and we need to go rescue. Is she, is she a cat? Half elves are like cats, right? I'm just going to try and make a habit of saving more often. Also, uh, you should be mounted. And now we have to find where the hell Mimir was. We found where the hell Mirmir was. Turns out I remember this much of this map on account of we've spent so long on this map. So dang long. <laughs> ding dang long, 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 ding dong. To misquote ministry. Specific reference, but hey, it checks out. Speed up. Increase the pace of your roll. God, how long did we spend fighting trees here? And now we've got to come back to also deal with the tree problem. It's Claim and the Insane Half Elf. I mean, we know her name now. Teacher, teacher, what's happened to you? Claim gingerly touches Mirmir's shoulder. Nothing but skin and bone. You barely stand upright. Come with me, you need to rest. We must leave this valiant researcher in peace. It may not look it, but she is in the middle of some vital experiment. Rest. Seeds rest in the earth. Bones rest with twigs root. Covered in snow, we find rest in earth until spring. Until spring. Teacher. Flame calls to Mir with pain in his voice. You, you remember me. It's me, Claim, the student. I've come to bring you home. Claim? Spark of recognition flares in Mir Mir's crazed eyes. Claim, what are you doing here? This place is dangerous. Go. Own like bark, like rock, like oath. A barely discernible whisper touches your mind. Sounds like the rustling of sand on ice. Stay here. You will not save her. Leave her. Or kill her and go on your way. Promise you will stay here. In place. Hello? I to know who I am. I will allow it. Knowledge is not without cost. Oh. A terrible figure, a petrified skeleton with branching horns, seems to grow out of the ground in front of you. Mortal. Be gone. Be gone from this place. She is mine. Leave her to me. Who are you? Siabra. 
the sound of the word feels like ice in your ear, like you just laid your head on a frozen tombstone. I was a druid in old Sarkoris long, long ago. Upon the surviving magic users brought disaster upon themselves. While this land was alive, I protected it with my life. When the time came for it to die, I followed it into death. The smooth, gleaming white stones in the skull's eye sockets are fixed on the petrified tree. Our forests held secrets, ancient sacred truths. The demons brought fire, flesh and woe. Flesh and wood burn as well as each other. The stone does not burn. We took the trees to stone and stood next to them as stone guardians. You chose to stand guard at any cost. Despite the fact that you must be destroyed, your loyalty warrants respect. If all Sarkorians were like you, I would be fighting a much different war right now. You understand us. You are the same as us. So I have stone inside, in the place where others have a heart. Ooh, I have druid dialogue. Tide and Tempest, what have you done to yourself? Druid, it's either Druid Dialogue or Gosray Dialogue. You're not a protector of nature. You're its enemy. Gosray is my witness. You become as true a monster as any demon. You're one of those fools who believes nature has to have a name and a face. We have nothing to talk about, servant of a false deity. Your accusations are nothing but fog in the wind. We also fight demons. On the same side of Front we foreign invaders battle with invaders from the abyss for our mutilated lands. Mortal, I may despise you less than I do the demons, but I am on one side you are on another. Yeah, that's fair. Anyway, why have you laid claim to this woman? The insolent, foolish mortal came here seeking the secrets of the old forests. Well, I allowed her to glimpse them. These secrets come at a cost. Reserve them to escape the fire into the embrace of stone. We paid with our lives and souls. It is only fair that she should pay the same price. Could I learn some of your secrets too? I'm willing to pay any price. What must I do? How's the trees drink from a stream? Wash only in falling rain. I'm ready for anything. Don't tell the ghost you're willing to pay any price, Nenio. Seabra is silent for a time. She was here first. Late. You've grown too noisy here now. Leave. We have no interest in your payment. What a terrible, terrible shame. If you change your mind, send word to me by carrier pigeon, or by dragonfly, or whatever you have it. Hmm. Nenio boils by tenure. Yeah. Much as I've just said, don't tell the demon you're willing to pay any price. I now have that option. Or I could just attack. Or I could just sort off. Oh, let's see. Name and price. Look of our secrets. There is but one price for them. And soul of all which to possess them. I have no other payment. All right, well, I believe a lot in freedom, so... Mm, bye. Go on, then. Bye. None shall escape. And we've summoned... What have we summoned? Plague Smilodons. Cool. Who have we got now? This is Regal? This is Regal. Regal, you are very far away. Try and be less far away. Oh, God, these mountain paths are going to screw us again, aren't they? Oh, no, that was just uh, a feature I turned on where um, if you tell people to move, they will stop moving once they've once they've kind of come to the end of the first action, just in case you uh, don't want to run over a, their ability to cast a spell or whatever. Which I don't know why that's not on as standard, really. You've got a lot of interesting buffs, Mir Mir. Neat. Oh, you're a death cleric. Rad. Claim is a whole four, level four wizard. Lovely. 
At least you're a level 11. And see a brace level 20. Hmm. <laughs> that is a lot. That, oop, immune to... Yes. Immune to everything. I might be dying and reloading. Cool. Polar Midnight. Neat. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Are you chaotic? No, you're neutral. Are these chaotic? No, they're also neutral. Regal, what use are you? Stop attacking people. Okay, you can teleport up here. Remembering I have that ability, pretty great. <laughs> uh, that only works for using full attack. So just shoot. Uh, what level of the smile on? Fourteen. Sure. Nice. Yeah. Well, and then we all got the shakes. I took a bunch of dex damage. Aldrif needs that dex. It's his whole thing. This spells fall deep. No, really. Nice. Claims dead. Big rip. Yeah, so it stops at the end of one action. That is actually... I like this. I like it. Do I have, like, mass protection from alignment and social? Or just undeath to death. You are undead, right? You are. Undeath to death. Kabam. Well, he made a will save of, uh, against a DC of two. And these aren't undead? They really look undead. They are undead. Oh, but I think he was, like, he's just beefy enough that it took all the effect of it, because it only does up to a certain number of hit dice. Well, do you have a teleport spell, Nenio? Why does the monk have more teleportation ability than the wizard? That does not seem right. Aha! Dimension Door is a conjuration spell. Okay, let's all go to the top of the hill. Nice. Good use of Shadow Conjuration, given that um, I don't have to be foiled by anybody's will save. Unfortunately, unlike Lan, he can't actually can't do it as a move action. <laughs> What's the rack do? You are not in range to do that. Uh, that only works against chaos. That is the same thing. You've just got it in your bar twice. Now just engage and stop. Plan! It's time for you to do the classic. Turn your buffs on and just shoot a lot. You won't survive me. Oh, we're back on AC-20. We may be in no place to... Did he just give us the literal plague? You know, I think he did. Now, it said immune to drain, so Vampiric Touch isn't going to work. What you should do, Waldrif, is haste everyone. Ah, he retigged you too. Uh, oh, and I only had one cast of Undeath to Death. Great. Go, go, go. I can hardly smite you. 
Oh, it would. That's an area effect that would hit everybody here who isn't actively good. That sounds not great. He's not chaotic enough to get Arrow Lord. Does bad channel work on him? Bad channel works on him. He does have 250 HP though. So we might be going a while on it. Uh, be elemental assessed. See what happens. Missed. We need to get his AC down. It's out of control. Uh, no, because his will save is going to be plus a billion, isn't it? Yeah, that's plus 31. I don't think we're getting him with anything that has a will save. Do we just charge and try and wail on him? Do we summon a giant elemental? That might be a thing to do. What do you have least resistance to? You only have resistance to acid, cold, and electricity. Here, meet my friend, Greta Elemental. He's enormous. E N O R M O U S. Top of the humor. Haha! -ha! Rolling that 20. Take that. This is just how lucky can we get, is what this fight is, before we die of all the plagues in the world. Before we suffer the 10 plagues of Winter Sun. But if we do manage to do it, we'll look like legends. Uh, he's got permanent true sight on, so no point being invisible. Here it touch isn't going to work. We already discussed this. Emma? Can we just try and scorch grain? Oh, Sociale died. That's a thing that happened. He's our healer. That's bad. Okay, you also have undeath to death. But it just needs him to not roll on that one and nothing happens. What about Phantasma Killer? Can't do it? What about shouting really loud? Can't do it? Not sure why. Can't cast heal for some reason. We have determined that you can't. Modern Orb? I mean, eh, that'll splash on people too much. Nice try. Didn't work though. Ice Prison? Ah. He only just made that reflex save. So close. have like restoration potions to get back some ability uh, stuff I really don't think I do I, mean, I have scrolls Oh, you should learn Master Mansion Door. That is a very useful thing to have. Yeah, uh, but with only a move action, can't do much there. Greta accomplishes little. Alright. Big Third makes it up. Yeah, Clyde! You may be a level 20 and have all the powers of undeath on your side, but I've got Triceratopses. Uh, Rack is on a will save, so no point there. Let's see if we can roll any 20s. Yeah! We're so bad. 
Oh, and Lan's immune to disease because he's a monk. Forgot about that. Oh, that may not be true. He appears to have disease. Make every strike count. He's immune to disease. Gets disease. I'm not even the only one rolling the nat 20s. How did that kill Greta? Oh, it didn't. It just downed her. Uh, magic missile? Not immune to that. Unlike a weird number of people. I really should have given you one of those quickening rods. Well, one of them's on Ember, who isn't here, and one of them is on Darren, who is likewise not here. I'm very smart. Clyde. Get up. You can take that attack of opportunity. You're the tank around here. Nanio, get up. Uh, we've established that he's not immune to magic missile. Ayo! Lands. Dark. No. Wind. Grey. Thong. Muttering something indecipherable, Mirmir drops to her knees before the sea is dust, grabbing handfuls of it and pouring it from one hand to the, hand to the other. Each other. Wake up. I'm begging you. Remember who you are. I. The woman becomes absorbed in her amusings, and then raises her slightly clearer gaze to Clan. I am. Mere, mere. I was looking for the knowledge of the druids so that I could. So I could. I think there was a war? Yes, yes, we were at war with someone, and this knowledge, the secrets, riots, and pistols, bone, and bark, this knowledge. Looks away. I discovered something important, but I can't remember what. I am claim my best student. I will tell you what I learned later when I remember it. I need to rest, but later I will tell you. I will share. I will reveal. What should I do with her? I mean, we're probably just going to be like, cool. Nasty rumors were true. She really did abandon her post willingly. I'm sure she had noble intentions, but. None of it matters now. Look at her, Commander. Barely alive, and she doesn't know who she is. End of her treatment. When she regains her sanity, she can answer for her sins. Look at her. She's raving. She doesn't know where she is. She's not fit to stand trial. Not alone to be punished. She needs a healer, not an interrogator. This woman stands accused of desertion committed when she was of sound mind. But she fell into difficulty after that crime does not diminish her guilt. The cleric glares at Regal. That has no response. No, we are... We are helping her, and if there's still a legal case to be made after that, we'll do it then, but we probably won't. Oh, dang it! Ah, been too... Been good too often. Need to go and find something evil or incredibly chaotic to do. Thank you. We should show her mercy now, and only later consider whether, uh, whether harsh consequences are also warranted. Thank you, Commander. I hope she will regain her sanity. Me too. We went through a lot of trouble for that. And now we're all dying of every disease known to man. And summoning this enormous fire elemental did nothing. Did you at least drop good loot? Yes. Cloak resistance plus two. Ring protection plus two. Shapeshifter's helm. Hide armor plus four. And corrosive support stuff plus two. What do they do? I mean, the Christ Quarter Staff plus two does what it says on the tin. High armor plus four. Is that going to be better than what Vix is rocking? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And it's very druidy. We took it off a druid who was, you know, couldn't have been trusted with it nearly as much as me. Uh, 
started in armor doesn't really work for anyone else we've got with us at the minute. Helm grunts us wear a plus two to AC while in wild shape. Well, that's going over to Ulbrig as soon as we get him back. Love that for us. Nothing new on anything. We're all lightly encumbered on account of all the plagues we're dying with. And we should probably go back to Dresden and get less of plague. Okay, so we are running out of things that say you have to do them this uh, chapter. We are getting very close. Very close. Yeah, we need to go back to Dresden. We fought a zombie and won, but also got all the plague in the world. wonder if the ability score damage will get better when we rest in Dresden, or if I should fix it here first. So see, I can throw some restorations around. Lan can throw some restorations around. I forget that he has that ability. Just like I forget I, you know, taught him to teleport. I think Bigatha has at least some restoration. Eh, yeah, bless her. Does not restore permanent ability drain. Cool. Lesser, not useful. Social. My will is resolute. Great. Love that for you. Restoration, please. And restoration on... Uh, water. Land doesn't have any to heal on account of the bit where he literally is immune to the effects of disease. But or that's what I thought, and then he wasn't. I don't know. Um, I have a greater restoration, which also gets rid of death's door. So if you throw that on yourself, you can tell that it's greater restoration because he shouts louder. See, now he's fine. That is all the restoration I have available for you. Alas. be ready for the worst. Your orders, Commander. Um, what? Oh! He can only do it to himself. That's why it really hurts. Um to make a reference to a band I don't even actually like. All right. We may need to go home. The teleportation cycle is not currently running. There is no bus service. Let's just walk. Oh, that immediately took us over into night. Over the midnight thing. You know what I mean. Words. What even are words? I don't think they're real. I did a whole languages degree and I'm still not convinced. Tell you what, this seems like a good enough time to take a quick break, so I'm going to do that. Uh, as ever, I'm going to get up and do the self-care things, and so should you, because, you know, be in shape for when the adventurers come. So get up, move around, have a drink, have a snack, take your meds if you need to, this is a reminder, and yeah, go and, go and say hi to a human. Maybe if you're dealing with, if you dealt with humans better, then the adventurers wouldn't be heading for you in the first place. Just saying. Wow, weirdly judgy. The narrator's rubbing off on me. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and do those things. Leave the ads running if you can, and I will be back in a few minutes. Love to you all. See you in a few. And we're back. Hello, everyone. We go fight this demon army. I think we should, and I'm the one holding the mouse. Maybe should have debuffed them first as well. Here we are. We have giant spiders, cultists, cultists, and retrievers. Well, let's make less of many of those. Nice. Very strong. Uh, wolf charge the retrievers. Oh, 
ball wolf bombs the retrievers. I, I, there's the bones of an incredibly niche joke there, but it's not coming. Okay, these don't look big, but there are hundreds of each of them, so I should be more careful than I often am. I mean, there's now 112 fewer. You just wait there for the moment. Okay, dodge the spitting web. Very nice. Uh, you just move so you're slightly more within charging range. You hang there for a sec. Okay. They only hit, like, one wolf rider. They could be a lot more dangerous. Nice. Through charge horse fight. That... Emma, you have to think about just stopping. Just, just stop saying things. You're advancing on my archers and I don't care for it. Now significantly fewer of you are advancing on my archers. Use a bit web. And we dodge again. Get wrecked. Narrator, Emma would never think about just not saying things. Oh, I think about it all the time. I just don't then do it. Poked. Hey. <laughs> I'll be real. I could be more worried right now. Shoot them in the face. Mm, speaking of shooting in the face, have a scorching ray. Nice. Nice. Reasonable. Not really enough space to roundabout fight them much. Still 13 rogues. Ooh. Uh, it's quite all right. All the spiders are dead. Wolf guard. Okay, yeah, we didn't need to worry about debuffing these. <laughs> Turns out this army is just really strong. Because <laughs> I keep thinking there aren't that many in a lot of these units, but that's because they're really kind of high-level forms of the unit. Though so only a couple of dozen wolf riders is still a lot, because they're an upgraded kind. The Crusader army descended upon the cultist squad at the moment they were performing a demonic ritual. That's lucky. The Retrievers, horrendous mechanical spiders who sought out and killed the demon's enemies, came to Galarian through the passage that opened from the abyss. Fortunately, the ritual was interrupted in its climax. The soldiers found a magical relic that belonged to the cultist leader. Stone of ghostly pathways. Well, that'll be another thing for us to purify. We have so many of those. So much purification to be done. How strong is this ball? Only got light. Well... I'm feeling like invoking hubris, so let's head for it. Okay, back to the party. Let's walk to Dresden. Evade these enemies. Continue. We made it. Yes, because we need to go and rest. And yes, I know Ember's still in trouble. That's that's the next thing on the list. We'll go and save Ember from the cult. Who she may have just converted to the side of right anyway, because that's the kind of thing she does. But first, bed, because a druid ghost gave us all the plagues. Every single one. You've moved again. Please just sit still for just one minute. What? Not even move my tail? Nah, nah, I changed my mind. I don't want you to draw me anymore. He's just trolling you, Sociel. Don't fall for it. Cool. Have our ability damages gone away? 
Yes. Hurrah. I can't believe we got pushed over into chaotic good just because we wanted to, you know, not have a woman owned by a tree druid ghost. SMH. SMH. Alright. Now it is time we go, we save Amber from a cult. We out. Uh, do we keep the same team? I mean, we barely did anything with them apart from killing the ghost druid, so... Well, if I take all... Uh, let's lose Regal. I'll take all Regal along, and then if I decide I want to go and try and kill those zombies, I can do that. Assuming, of course, that that was through current glam, which I believe it was. I believe it was. I mean, it'll be in our journal, but I'd need to know what it was called. Oh my god, there are so many quests. It was a companion quest. Uh... Roll of stone. Yeah, yeah, so it was all through currently. With the portal and stuff. Wait, turn off show completed quests before I open it later and have a panic attack. Okay, so the portal in Treason Home still does not exist. When will it exist? How long until existence? Existence in three days? Because uh, I was going to be like, well, we could just go to current Glen while we're waiting for it, but three days? Uh, we don't need to fight those zombies. We might do it one day. We might not. They might just be the zombies that got away. I'm frankly reasonably comfortable with that. We can take some of the time off the journey at least by going to Gloomy Gorge. But still, this is a 22 hour march. Travelling merchant? Sure, why not? Is it the skeleton guy again? What did I tell him to stock? Keep lying to this man about what's in fashion and forgetting what I tell, tell him. Also, Victor, while I think you should be mounted. Make your own jokes. Hello. What you sell now? A whole hunter's arsenal. Okay, but right now, uh, next time you should go for magic mystery things. But anyway, show me your wares. Any trash to sell you? No? Really? Uh. I mean, nobody's going to use this stuff. This is trash. This, yeah. That is not great. Most of these potions probably never going to be used. I've met me. Oh, we got the heart of the device. Wonder if that does anything other than selling for 40 grand. We also have a blowtorch still. And a bomb. I don't think we can use those for anything now. Don't need that, don't need that. I just want to clear some stuff out. That's just a rope. We don't need it. That's the code for the door in Blackwater. We know that. But what do you have? Amulet of Imposing Physique? Uh, not great. Uh, please sort your... Um, inventory. What barding does Clyde have at the minute? Plus three scale mount barding with fire resistance and stuff. So, better than what we've got on. No, sorry, better than what we've got available. Yeah, that belt's only giving him plus two constitution. This would be plus four constitution and also better at bull rush and overrun and immune to trip. I mean, immune to trip is the important part there, really. I'm going to grab these potions of removed disease because I seem to remember that being a thing. 
resurrection scrolls. That sounds like a good thing to have around. Deal. Uh, Clyde, have the belt. Also, Ulbrig. You need to un-Griffin so that I can change your equipment. Ulbrig. Un-Griffin. Wait, is the Alcal just better for him? Yes. Yes, it sure is. And Bigatha... I mean, Bigatha just uses her wisdom way more often than she ever wild shapes. I ain't never using that. Does anybody want this armor? Is it better than what you've got on? I don't think anybody wants this armor. Welp. I should really get socio martial proficiency if I get the chance. False alarm, all break. Re Griffin. Bye. Skeleton merchant guy. Is this just the local ghost rider? I'm going to say yes. Demon's army approaching. Ah. We should sort that out. Wait, when did a day click take over? I missed that part. Also, Dresden has restocked. This is exciting. You continue where you were going. Where were you going? Back home. Excellent. Can't quite make it. Boo. Uh, this army. Ah. That's where the other demon in army is coming from. Uh, well, continue with your potentially bad idea. We can't go over the water. I suppose that makes sense. Okay, so when they get moving again tomorrow, we'll fight them then. We have crusade notifications. Oh, yes, we have to do something with the ghost, the stoat of lonely gain pain. I'm sorry, I'm, I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> wow, they didn't immediately reach them. Well, okay, fine, I guess we'll take the offensive. Uh, well, we're here. Excellent, more structure. And what are these raiders? Eh. More hounds people. Should we refresh it? Yeah, let's see. Excellent. Moshe Bear is great. What are these? Hedge knights. Eh. Touch your hedge. Don't know why I said that. And now, these can now merge. Just to save on UI. Just Army 5 can be the everybody I don't care about army. <laughs> An enemy army has reached you, or possibly we reach them, who's to say? We'll get to Ember eventually. <laughs> uh, eat Ice Storm, idiots. <laughs> Good thing we brought this entire army, I guess. When this one woman could just make them all explode. Problem solved. How do we get around there? Like, around the top? But there doesn't seem to be a path down. But there is. What do you mean the path to this location is unknown? It's right there. Oh, it's one of these where um, it's only for the commander. Crusaders can't go to it. No, there appears to be nothing else to do here. So I guess head back to Dresden eventually. Okay, back to the party. 
and we walk and we walk and we walk. And we go to Baphomet's... What? No. No. What? Ah. H how? What? Ha ha. What? <laughs> How'd we get there? What are we meant to do? Uh, uh, huh? I'm panicking. Um. How the he hell are we meant to get there? Has... Maybe if we stop on that node, there's a different thing. Yes, okay, we had to stop there, we couldn't just walk past it, sure, I guess. Anyway, that's gone over another day. We can augment this phylactery, great. In the meantime, we're still on max morale? Yeah, we're fine. Max morale is uh, our local superhero. Let's do something with this voracious jumble. It's so hungry and jumbly. And events. Enchanting the phylactery. The remains of the soul of Stevanius the Rotten are still locked within the shards of his phylactery. A dark ritual could awaken their power. Or destroy them permanently. If we destroy it, we get the Bane of Flesh. Once per day, when you go below zero, HP is restored by twice your character level and you get some skeletons. Or if you awaken it, the Bane of Spirit. Uh, plus four saving throws against mind affecting emotional confusion, fear, death, and compulsion. But minus two to saves against poison, elemental, power, paralyzing, and movement impairing. And you can lose HP to give somebody else a... a no. That's not a thing I care to do, frankly. By conducting rituals over the remains of the flattery, wizards have ultimately killed the grains of the Dark Mage's spirit, freeing the death energy concealed within them. Hooray? Question mark? Also, the runaway. It's been revealed that one of the Crusaders is a criminal on the run. Only one? That really feels like it would be more common than that. One year ago, that knight murdered a noble in Neurosian and escaped justice. The killer repented and joined the Crusader army to atone for his sin. The daughter of the murderer aristocrat wants vengeance and requests that the criminal be arrested and tried. We say yes, it's lawful, and we hate it. We could be chaotic, which would maybe get us off chaotic good. Gives the vengeful noble the murderer's head. It's evil. It gets us a family heirloom of this unholy flail plus four. I. Or just kill her and take her money. Which just gets us a bunch of stuff. And would also get us a chaotic good. And also uh, would solve this problem by eating the rich. Darren will invite the noble to Dresden to take her revenge. But she'll perish on the way under mysterious circumstances. And the young woman's inheritance will go to... Darren, who is a distant relative of her family. The system works. Hurrah. Was that evil enough? Have I become chaotic neutral again? Please say yes. Yes, I did. Aha! Also, we're all exhausted. I'm amazed we didn't, you know, rest when before that happened. Oh, it's because the dinosaurs and all broke. Uh, no, no, it's just the dinosaurs are not fatigued yet. Okay, well, get them. I think we're going to have to rest. We'll get to Ember eventually. Why are you here with your plus zero? You have a plus 36. And you have... Uh... God, the automatic thing is an idiot. Talking to you confuses me sometimes. It seems like every word out of my mouth offends you. Who are we talking to? How about this for a great idea, then? Maybe you should just stop talking. Wow. Why are the boys fighting? Oh, uh, wasn't Social doing the whole, oh, you're so brave thing a while back? I think he was. Okay. Right, we're here. It's good. The army's 
want to move again. Fine, we'll do that, because the only one that's actually moving is this one. The others don't have a huge amount they can do right now. So, back to the party. And we go to the shrine, yes. Ah. Yes. Remember that time we got, you know, blessed by Baphomet, by, blessed by a uh, nominal cleric of Baphomet for a prank, and it worked, because, because Trickster. Good times. Also, it's raining blood again. Also, big th Saddle. Yeah, you not being mounted bores me, and yet here we are. Hmm, left or right? Apparently we're going left. Thanks, hand. Okay, the cultists are there. Let's see if we can not run into the cultists just yet. Oh, that's just an exit. Okay, guess we're running into the cultists. I mean, we did kind of come here to run into the cultists. Hello! Oh, hey. They've even got their own demons. The altar of Lord Baphomet has been desecrated. Clean it with the blood of the traitors. What you've done? Even the girl and will be pardoned. Hands off, scoundrels. We won't give it to anyone. Not you or the demons. He has converted half of them. Please don't fight. You're all kind of people. We don't need to hurt each other. Baphomet demands blood. Spare no one. Traitors and faithful alike will be sacrificed to a lord. Well, that'll make season three awkward. Looks like the girls are right. If we want to survive, we'll have to fight together. I mean, also, we'll be here to fight more effectively. For example, here's Lan. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. See? It's great. It's Lan. It's crazy and or party. Just hang there for a sec. I'll break. Drop. Wow. Take that, fiendish minotaur warlord. Yeah, I was right. We are more effective than them. Ulbrich, tank. You're very good at it. Seriously, these cultists are terrible at their job. Ooh. Deal. Love that for us. Uh, no, you still have a range of everything. Keep going. Cultist, do something ineffectual. Thanks, Cultist. Cultist. No! Okay, that one was on me, because I forgot about that new feature I was saying about. Amber! There's a girl. What did you even just try to do? You just tried to smack them. You didn't even turn your claws on. Ember. Is it because the AI looks at the build I've made and is just like, what the hell is this? You didn't authorize any of this. What am I meant to do? <laughs> we have a charge path, but only on Ulbrich himself, which, no. Extra attack, and... Dead. God, it's nice uh, fighting things that don't have ridiculous cyborg AC anymore. That's how you scorch and ray a demon. Alexander Ryback's even less well-received follow-up. Now the cultist does something useless. And so does the demon. I love the bit where Ulbrich has a bajillion HP. It's very useful. 
You can Arak T go on all you like. It's not actually going to work. Stop trying to make Arak T go on happen. Arrow of Law. Also didn't happen, so that's on me. What are these you do with a free action? Uh... Okay. Have a charge path. No, makes sense really. There's people around. Ember, maybe use all those spells I gave you. I gave you so many spells. Okay, you did land a nat twenty with that one, so that's fair enough. What do you have? A lot of cast stuff. Oh, of course, the old favorite. That's how you are at T-Gone. And then she did. The end. Well, the end for that guy, at least. Mm, what do you have more than one cast of? Bone Vibration. Yeah, seems like a thing to do. Or not, you know. You know what else sounds like a thing to do? Overcoming spell resistance. I'm a big fan. In theory, at least. Breathing hard, a cultist knight wipes her blood-smeared sword on a tabard depicting Baphomet's unholy seal. She looks around. It was a difficult fight. No, it wasn't. But by some miracle, none of the cultists perished. Looking back at Amber, she kneeled in front of you. My commander, we are guilty of treason and we repent. We beg for your mercy. Don't listen to our commander. Another knight, also wearing Baphomet's tabard, throws his weapon to the ground. Repentance? She was ready to give this girl to the demons till she realized there'd be no mercy from them. But all traitors and murderers here, a henchman of Baphomet and soldiers in Thazgorod's army, you better kill us all on the spot. Don't say that. You protected me, didn't you? Maybe you wanted to do something bad, but you changed your mind. You. The elf girl looks at you with her large, shining eyes. Please don't punish them too harshly. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. They were just deceived by the demons. What is this, Paradise Killer? But, hey, conversation time. You okay? Yeah, just a little scared. The kind knights protected me, and then you came. What happened? Some of the locals had gathered so we could all pray together. Then these knights came and started fighting, and they killed lots of people. Then they took me here and put me on the altar. I asked them not to hurt me, then they started arguing among themselves. Some said they had to sacrifice me, and others wanted to protect me. I was so sad they were arguing, I tried to make them friends again. They just yelled more and swung their swords. Then they cried because I didn't want anyone else to die. My tears fell on the altar, and then smoke came out of it, and the altar split in half. Yes, I think you may be a literal saint. All the knights screamed and demons came from outside and yelled that I had insulted Baphomet. But I did not hurt anyone, I swear. I just wanted everyone to be friends again. Were you really praying for the demon lords? Yes. I think demon lords are the most miserable creatures in, in the world. Being evil is sad and painful. And it means that the evilest ones must be the saddest of all. Happy people don't start wars and don't bring terrible calamities down on others. Eh. I thought that if they heard our prayers, and then maybe they would change their minds and wouldn't be evil anymore. Oh, Amber. I love that the chaotic option is just Lamau. Maybe the things I do are silly, but I just want everything to work out. Okay, which of these protected you versus wanting to kill you? All of them. Please don't punish anyone. You see, they've repented. We have, I swear. I believe the repentance of a cultist commander. We're all traitors and liars. Also, why are you defending these people who killed a bunch of people and kidnapped you? Yes, they killed many good people, but would killing them make anything better? Please don't kill them. You see, they've repented. I know it's not a harsh law that guides your judgment, but your heart. 
Please find a little mercy for them. I have decided. I hope for your mercy. I hope you'll punish us with the full force of the law. Please be kinder. So we have the good option. Let them be your congregation and we won't punish them. Lawful, and they go to prison. And you preach them through the bars. Evil exile. Or non-aligned. Execute them. And forbid her from preaching. Uh, if this tips us over into chaotic good again, which it probably will. Fine. I just don't like executing people. I just... Even if it's not... Like... Optimal for play here, I just... Fundamentally don't like the death penalty. Fine. You think you can reform them? Go ahead. Damn it! I just don't like doing the bad things! <laughs> Commander, we can't be trusted. I can't even trust myself. Just a few hours ago, I was slaughtering this girl's congregation and was about to sacrifice her to Baphomet. But I believe in you. You do want to change, don't you? The knight lowers his head. Thank you. We will try. Of course, after everything we've done, we can't remain knights of the orders we betrayed. We'll lay down our weapons and do the job you send us to do. Deal. Ember turns to you with a smile. You see, they won't do anything bad. Should we go? Yes, we shall. I'm putting you in my party because I need to give you this ring before I forget. What rings do you have at the minute? Pyromania, uh, which it makes your fire spells much better. And Steady Finger, bonus on touch attack rolls. Those are both good. Hmm. You don't have Fireball or Control Fireball or Hellfire Ray or Firestorm or Fiery Body. Which are also all good. What about Waljeff? Waljeff's only got this ring of protection plus two. That... He could use uh, a thing on touch attack rolls. He has enough spells for it. And also, it is a ring of protection plus two. Oh yeah, also I have this bane of flesh. The bane of flesh. Who dies a lot? Also Ember, but... Um, Ulbrey? No, because he has stuff prevent meaning that he can't go so easily below zero. Actually, no, it will just increase his unkillability even more. We should do that. Oh, yeah, I forgot he had that ability. I don't want it. <laughs> Things that purely give me abilities I will never use are not useful. Ooh, scrolls of fun stuff. A couple of hand axes. Uh, shut up. Be a griffin again. Stop talking. Love, stop talking. It's not good for you. Have a cure. And we loot. The Blazing Crown. That might that sounds like a thing that might be good for Amber. Blazing Crown. Headband of Prisma plus four. And when you deal damage through a spell to one or more enemies, ten temporary hit points for three rounds. Yes. That sounds great. Especially because of the minute all she has is a Charisma plus four. Rad. That's an honestly good look. Uh, does anybody else need charisma? Do you cast off into charisma? Where does it tell me? Where does it tell me?
How do you find out how this works? Something probably tells me that I'm not seeing. I should really know what your casting stat is. I mean, I'm going to assume it's not charisma just on account of you have 10 charisma. Alchemist, Arcanist, Witches, Magi, and Wizards. Arts, Paladin, Arcanist, Scouts, and Sorcerers. Okay, so... None of these say rogues. Um, because this is a weird archetype. Uh, that's just your proficiency, isn't it? Doesn't tell you. I'd really think it told you. I'm so confused. Okay, I'm going to assume that past me did the sensible thing. Also, did I just completely miss a hydrogen stretch reminder? Thank you. Why do I have my phone here? That seems not good for the stream. Uh, there was another thing here, wasn't there? A book, Templar's Missive. Tascarat has issued a new mission for our squad. Our orders are to disguise ourselves as locals, search them all for settlements, find the elven child named Amber. Beware, brothers, that girl possesses a dangerous power that can cast out despair. Her so called pla preachings, which are nothing but worthless backstreet blabbering, have already foiled a number of our plans and brought a number of soon to be cultists back to the Crusader army. So much wasted effort. Find and sacrifice her to a Lord Baphomet without delay, or else Tascarat will slow cook up blackened souls and devour them one by one. Now, Baphomet! And also with you. Uh, so, CL, if you could throw a channel down to just heal these two some. Anything up here where the demons came from? Branching parts? It really is a video game. Head on. Many branching parts. Well, actually, that wasn't a branch. That was what we call a clip. Branching parts with a loot at the end of them. Even more video game. Can we get up here? Yeah. Might be trap. Might be There's trap. a rock. With some random crap. If you're going around picking up random crap, crap behind a rock, uh, you might be a, an RPG adventurer, or you might just need to talk to your therapist. That's really a question for you to deal with. So hey, we advanced that companion quest. Which has now disappeared. Wonder if there'll be more. Uh, when we talk to Ember in town next. But that's everything except. Um, we've got those things to give back to the storyteller. Which I still don't think we have enough for. We don't have four cold iron yet do we? I wonder if anywhere sells cold iron that I've just looked straight past every time. Yeah, we don't have four cold iron. So... This is... wait. Alright. Wait for an opportune moment, which, I mean, this that, that's not marked for this chapter. Maximize all crusade stats is the only other thing that's marked as has to be done in this chapter. And, like, I don't know how long that'll take. Well, let's go back to Dresden and see if um, Ember's got any dialogue or anything. Or if somebody decides that we need to have a meeting. Ta-da! 
I made a Caroline Polchek reference earlier, and in fact, I can't even remember if I made it out loud or in my brain, as is so often the way. Uh, and now, not even the same song, but another Caro song is stuck in my head. Excellent talk. I know, right? I have I have the best chat. Amber still preaching with new hat. How are those cultists doing? You know, this cult did very bad things to them, huge of true. They made them hurt and frighten each other and themselves, and then lied that they didn't have a way back. They convinced them the only choice for a sinner was to sin again. They're much better now. Still, their souls inside they're like my hands all burnt. Besides, sympathy to others who weren't in the cult don't understand them at all. They say things to them. Maybe it's even fair, but it makes everything worse. Some people don't want to believe they repented. They want them to go back to the demons. Some feel sorry for them. They ask questions and listen. Those conversations make them feel better, and others might listen and not fall for the same thing. See how good it is that you didn't kill them. Thank you. Yeah, that's the problem. It was too good. Now I have good on my character sheet, and my druid levels don't like it. Please, my druid levels. They're very sick. Okay, let's hit up one of the shops and sell some crap. And then go up into the citadel and see if anybody wants our uh, attention. I will, sir. Buy all this crap, will, sir. Uh, Darren's got a uh, phylactery headband, so doesn't need this. Doesn't want this charisma one. Yeah, no, I don't need this charisma headband. Can anyone use this studded armor? Yeah, it's good. I kind of want to keep it around just in case. I think I can use it. Crypt's helm, not good. Lockpicking kit one, don't need that anymore. Both my rogues have lockpick kits. Now that I only have two rogue types. What happened to the other one? Next question. Do you have anything super cool that I've not been buying? Probably. Actually, I don't think so. How good is your... You're wearing adamantium full plate plus two. Yeah, you. the door of life do oh yeah it wasn't great all right yeah nothing particularly exciting here i'll just take the money i mean if we're near the end of an act that makes sense because then i will just have all this money to buy cool stuff in the next act Yeah, I think it's probably time to move on if nobody demands my attention when I get in the Citadel. Nobody has demanded my attention. Huh. <laughs> I was not expecting... I don't know why I wasn't expecting there to be anything. Wasn't expecting there to not be anything. Like, it, we had to run out of act at some point, and it's already gone on for a very, very long time. I mean, this is what, episode 37? Yes. Which. Yeah, we played the entire Mass Effect series, and that only took us 40 episodes. Uh, do you. Can I do anything with this? No. I don't have any more notes. Okay. Okay, guess guess it's Ivory Sanctum time, boy. Duh. Get to the gate quicker, bigger sir. Run. Faster than you are doing. Or at least I don't know, 
have there be something interesting happen while I fill time. Oh, hey, you're here. Great. Who do we take to the Ivory Sanctum? Oh, wait, I wanted to check if Arushalay wanted that armor. Oh, she's got the chain shirt of life, Vim. That's probably way better. Actually, no. It's one less armor class, but you get the damage reduction and it lets her use her full dexterity AC. That's actually better for her. And it looks rad. Plus three chain shirt. Uh, good against non-living creatures. Who can use it? OCL could. It is not as good as what he's got. Ulbrig could. Also, probably not as good. Leela could. Very definitely not as good. You're a charisma caster? Should have saved that headband for you. Didn't. We move. Darren could. And it's lighter. So he'll stop complaining. One less armor class. But it lets him use his full dexterity AC. And I can never remember to use that ability on the other one, so. Cool, now you are only medium encumbered. Lucky you. How about, does anybody else want this chain mail? There's a whole priority tree we're working down. Uh, nope. Why are you not wearing any armor? Surely there's some armor you could have been wearing. Why are you not wearing armor? Is this why he dies all the time? You know, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, eat some scrolls. Can't have any pudding if you don't finish your scrubs. Darren will never stop complaining encumbrance or not. I mean, fair. But at least this way he'll hopefully find interesting new things to complain about. Let's go to the Arcane Weaver and see if we can find some armor that Walsh will wear. Suddenly the bit where he keeps dying makes a lot of sense. <laughs> You know that bit where I said I may never actually be good at this game? It continues to be true. Alright. Darren. Somebody should probably have the shirt of Blazing Fighter. And not just because it sounds like an absolutely rad anime. Oh, Brick, that seems like a thing you'd wear. You don't have a shirt on. Here, have the shirt of Blazing Fighter. What does this robe do? Uh, key pool plus two, and if you're lawful, you get plus two bonus on attack rolls against Chaos. Lan. What are you wearing at the minute? Dookie Veil, uh, bonus to AC, and bonus to attack and damage rolls with unarmed attacks, which you never do. This sounds better. Yep, that's better. Like you wearing? Oh, you already have a living flame. I was just thinking that'd be perfect for Sociel. Yeah, that's why he's already got one on. But yeah, no. The thing we actually came for, Emma. Well, Waldrif? What? 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 Waldrif? There. Waldrif. Waldrif. Um. Oh, right. Can you just straight not wear armor because of Arcane Trixer? That would make sense, I guess. Or Eldritch Scoundrel, whichever. Okay, point made, point made. Also, that was most of my money now I think about it. Uh, I don't want this chainmail. I'll never remember to use it. That is not even close to the amount of money I just gave you.
Okay, so what did I just buy? Lan gets a new robe. Lan robe. 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 Oh, it's found at the end. Shirts go at the end for some reason. Is it Silky Bay on Monk only? Yes. Uh, and the Shirt Blazing Fighter was for Ulbrig. Not that we'll ever see it. And the other robe can be sold. I need to maybe look up if the heart of the device or whatever it was called has any any other purpose other than just being a cash rock. Probably just a cash rock. Anyway, that sold for like nothing. Right, now we actually leave and go and do the thing. It'll be great. I mean, I say do the thing, probably gear up to do the thing and then immediately end the stream. But it's fine, because if we don't actually go and start the thing, I will forget the thing exists when we come to a new stream, as uh, we all know. Is this team still good? Um, honestly, I'm preferring Darren to Sociel as a healer. Yeah, otherwise I like this team. Nenio has a wide variety of versatile spells. Ember has so many ways to set people on fire. And you know what? You'd be amazed how many things that works on. Have my armies refueled? No. You've already got everything you wanted from town, right? Are you hot? I mean, I could add 129 convicts to the hundred to the four here. Why not? And then, to be honest, we want to switch. They're not as they're going to be better than the mongrel fighters, surely. They do less damage and have lower armor classes, cut and much lower hit points. Convicts are terrible. <laughs> Or are those buffs, uh, because... Nope. <laughs> yeah, no, comics suck in this. Which, I mean, that this is probably reinforcing a good message, which is don't conscript convicts um, into the army. Just saying. Uh, teleport, still charging. Great. Yes, we're walking. Evade these enemies. Um, but we did just go over a day. Ugh. An unscrupulous hair. Oh yeah, yeah. We had that woman killed. A young noble whose father, a vengeful noble whose father was killed by a crusader, wants to travel to Dresden and deliver justice to the murderer. If she dies on her journey, mm -hmm, all her property will be inherited by the Arundel family and end up in the Crusade coffers. Seven thousand gold, five thousand finance, fifty materials, twenty-five energy points. Yep. I was never here. Nobody saw anything. Armies, you are all heading back home. Where you can get more wolves. And more marksmen. And why did I not put more church, church guards in here? I'm not convinced these cuirassiers are good. But I am also not convinced I have anything better. I mean, I could just buy more cuirassiers. And I will. Cool. Good talk. <laughs> yeah, that... All of these still look very scary, though. Uh, but if you head down towards Treason Home also, just to kind of be stationed. And we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we evade, and we walk, and we walk, and we walk. 
and uh, did we, yeah, fine. Let's talk to Ghost Rider Merchantman. Uh, I should do a bit of a wrap up while we do this because we're going to be stopping soon before we actually go into the Ivory Sanctum. So thanks everyone watching. Uh, it thanks for staying to the end. Genuinely means a lot. If you've been watching this, you know where to find me. But just in case, this is twitch.tv slash Saracent. That's S-E-R-A-S-E-N-T, the House of Hubris. Streaming every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 2 p.m. Uh, British time, that is. 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific, and now I need to stop talking uh, while I actually look at equipment. Is this Haramaki better than what you've got on? Uh, I mean, those aren't skills Lan ever needs to use. What's the Sigil of Destruction do? It's for kineticists. Moving on. Resistance plus four. Ooh, who has just a flat resistance plus three? Ulbrich does. Amber does. Amber, have a new cloak. Red Crest. What are those braces you're wearing? Armor plus five. Mm. I don't know what that noise I just made was. And I was wearing armor plus one. Yeah, have these armor plus four. <laughs> Uh, and let's buy all your diamond dust because we go through it at a rate of knots. Braces for Nanio. No, that's not Nanio. 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 Nanio isn't here. If you'd like to leave a message, just start talking at the sound of the tone. Business, you don't have a cloak. Here, have a cloak. Have some saving throws. But yes, so that's when we're streaming. Uh, or you can just follow us to be notified wherever I'm around. Uh, if you do miss anything, VODs are on Twitch for eight weeks. Everything else there is YouTube. YouTube.com slash at House of Hubris. Where you can find everything going back to the very start of the channel. Which has been... Uh, over three years now, which is ludicrous, frankly. There aren't any potions we can craft. Nanio. Nanio. Not Nanio. Amber, the other one. Um, yeah, if so check that so out. Link down there. Enemy, I can teach you how to shoot from above. True, it's pretty tough to aim when you're running away from the battlefield. Why is land just all the shade lately? to finally kick the bucket? Give me a fair warning is all I ask. If I'm going to be eating cave slime at your wake, I need to line my stomach good and proper first. That is well known. That's how you eat cave slime. Uh, yeah, link down there for the VODs on the YouTube. So check that out. And while you're there, why not subscribe? Doesn't cost you anything. Gets you hot, fresh VODs in your subscription feed. Evade. Subscription feed every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, if you want to find me elsewhere, link's down there. Or it's House of Hubris on pretty much all of the socials. Okay, I'll stop here. Because then I definitely know where I'm going. Were my armies doing anything? Uh, at House of Hubris on Twitter. At House of Hubris at kind.social on Masto. At House of Hubris dot bsky dot social on Blue Sky. And yeah. Check it out. I think that's about everything. And if it isn't, I've completely forgotten. Oh, uh, that was the other thing. Uh, if you want to support me... Entirely forgetting where I'm going, but also defeating the Borg. Uh, financially, you can, of course, cheer and subscribe on Twitch, but you very much don't have to. Just turn up and hang out and be chill and be good to each other in there. Everyone's having a good time. I think that actually is everything now, so I am going to go. Uh, next time, it's the road to the end of the chapter, baby. I've resanked him. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. I will see you again for all that on Thursday. Loved you all. Thanks again for being here. Take care of yourselves until then. Bye-bye.